Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Victoria, and this is Time and Tenderness. Guys, welcome back. I am so excited. It is the first week of Bakeful November. And if you do not know what Bakeful November is, I have made videos about it in the past, but pretty much I am hosting a month long baking challenge and each week has a new challenge and I am inviting everybody to participate. You don't have to participate for the whole month. You can pick and choose a week that you would like to participate in, but I will be doing all four weeks this month and taking you along with me. And for this first week of Bakeful November, it is decorative week. So for this week's uh, topic, we are decorating things. So I am going to be making some cinnamon cookies with some icing and then I'm going to be decorating them with some sprinkles. So I am so excited to take you along with me, show you how I get it all done. And I lo would love to see your creations both on Instagram or if you want to email them to me, whatever. I would love to see all your creations. So come on and let's go ahead and start the first week of Bakeful November. Alrighty guys, I'm just putting on my apron so I don't get my clothes dirty and let me go ahead and tell you about the recipe that I am making today. Like I mentioned before, we are making cookies and I'm going to be decorating them with icing and sprinkles. And I am using this recipe I found off Pinterest. I will link it in the description down below, but it is cinnamon roll sugar cookie recipes. And I like how simple this recipe is and it leaves me room to be able to decorate at the end. So pretty much it's, I'll show you the little picture here, but you can always look online with the link that I include but the ingredients are all right here I'll leave all that in the description down below but it looks like a very simple recipe um, and it, we should be able to get it done in no time so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so this recipe was really easy to put together like I mentioned before the link to the recipe will be in the description box below but I'm going to go ahead and read the ingredients for you just so that you know what is all involved and the ingredients are one cup of butter softened one cup of sugar two eggs one tablespoon of vanilla three cups of flour three teaspoons of baking powder two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of salt I was actually quite surprised to see how much butter was in this recipe. In total, you'll be using three sticks of butter. And because it is a butter-based recipe, as soon as you finish putting the dough together, it is instructed in the recipe per the instructions to put the dough into the fridge to help it firm up a bit. This is a crucial step, which I will explain later. Now if you've been following along with my channel for quite some time, you'll know that I strongly encourage you to clean as you go. So while my dough is chilling in the refrigerator and I am preheating the oven, I'm going ahead and cleaning up. That way I don't have an entire mess to deal with at the end. Now once your dough has chilled, you're going to form your cookies and you're going to just roll them into little one inch balls and this is always my favorite part to do. Now once you've formed all of your cookies, take the bottom of a glass or a measuring cup and squish them a little bit so that they're nice and uniform. The cookies baked in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 9 minutes. So I can't believe how great the cookies are looking so far. I'm going to let them cool for a long while so that I, when I go and frost them, the frosting does not melt. So those are gonna sit for a while. And I was just thinking back to last year, to last Bakeful November, I made cookies again for, I think last year we had multiples week, so you had to make multiple of something. So I did cookies and I did snickerdoodle cookies last year. And last year I forgot a very critical step to the recipe, which was to let the cookies and the dough chill in the freezer for a good while before putting in them in the 
oven and what happened last year was they completely melted and just turned into one giant pile of mush. So always read your recipes thoroughly and try not to skip even the most minute of steps. I didn't think too much of the refrigeration step. I didn't think it mattered, but it really did matter. And refrigerating butter-based cookies before putting them in the oven is very important. So these are gonna cool for a while and then we're gonna whip up the frosting and get these nice and decorated. Now it is time for the frosting and I am now realizing that I used way too much cream cheese but it still turned out great. So for the frosting, the ingredients called for four ounces of cream cheese which I ended up using eight, eight tablespoons of butter, two and a half cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one to two teaspoons of milk or cream and additional cinnamon if you so choose. So this was my first time ever using a piping bag or a frosting bag with a tip and as you'll see I kind of fail a little bit. I fail at filling it up because I forgot to cut off the bottom and the tip and then I failed because as I was frosting you will see in just a moment the plastic tip that I was using for the design kind of just exploded out of the bag so I just had to freehand it the rest of the way. Despite the failure with the frosting bag, the cookies still turned out looking amazing. I actually like them a little bit without the frosting tip, and they looked great with the sprinkles. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed following me along for the first week of Bakeful November, and this week was decorative week. Although I'm not the best decorator, I am pretty proud of these cookies, and they are quite delicious if my camera can focus on them really quick for you. Oh yeah, those cookies look so good. I can't wait to eat them for dessert later tonight and throughout the week. Next week is seasonal flavors week, so try and make something that is either pumpkin flavored or apple flavored. I haven't exactly decided what I wanna make next week, so stay tuned on my Instagram as I keep giving you guys updates and sharing all of your creations over on my Instagram story. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Think about subscribing. Leave me a comment in the comments down below, and I hope to see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.